Victoza, Ozempic, and Rebelsis are medications used for diabetes. They also happen to have a noticeable weight loss effect. Currently, none of these three are approved in Canada solely for treating obesity. Nevertheless, they can also help patients who are taking them to lose weight. But how do they work? And how do their weight loss effects compare to the official weight loss drug known as Sixenda? Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young, a naturopathic doctor in Toronto. In this video series, we'll compare various medications that cause weight loss in people. Please subscribe for more videos about weight loss medication. Let's compare the four closely related drugs, Victoza, Sixenda, Ozempic, and Rebelsis, for their effects on weight loss. Victoza and Sixenda are essentially the same drug, known as liraglutide, just officially used for different purposes. Whereas Victoza is used for diabetes, Sixenda is used for weight loss. Ozempic and Rebelsis are also essentially the same drug, known as semaglutide. Both are used to treat diabetes, however, Ozempic is injected, whereas Rebelsis is a pill. They all work in similar ways by stimulating the effects of a hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1. This hormone stimulates the release of insulin and therefore helps diabetics with poor insulin control. GLP-1 also makes us feel full, so all four drugs have the effect of suppressing appetite, often resulting in weight loss when used by patients. There's a lot of similarities here, so if you've watched our video on Sixenda or have used Sixenda before, they will all work in a very similar capacity to suppress your appetite. So in this video, I'll do my best to focus on the differences between all four drugs. Side effect comparison. They all carry similar side effect profiles with the most common being nausea, followed by gastrointestinal disturbances like diarrhea, abdominal pain, cramping, vomiting, heartburn, and so on. Also, the same rare but more severe side effects show up in all their packaging, like damage to the liver or pancreas, gallstones, kidney failure, and increase in thyroid cancers, and so on. Except for Rebelsis, which is a pill taken orally, you'll have to learn how to self-inject if you use any of the other medications. So bruising, bleeding, and other side effects related to injections are applicable to Victoza, Sixenda, and Ozempic. Dosing Comparison Probably one of the biggest difference between all four drugs is how they're dosed. Victoza and Sixenda, which is liraglutide, are given by injection once per day. However, Sixenda is often dosed higher than Victoza to achieve a greater appetite suppression at the expense of increased side effects. Ozempic, which is semaglutide, is given by injection as well, but only once a week. Despite the less frequent injecting schedule, Ozempic does not necessarily have less side effects than Victoza or Sixenda. Rebelsis, which is also semaglutide, is a pill taken once per day. Despite not being injected, there's no evidence to suggest that Rebelsis is less side effects than Ozempic. Approved uses and availability. All four medications are available in Canada with a prescription. Of all four medications, only Sixenda is approved for weight loss alone. The other three are approved only for type 2 diabetes control, albeit not a first choice for treating diabetics. However, this doesn't stop clever patients and physicians from using them off-label for weight loss. Rebelsis is a newer medication, so it'll likely be a lot harder to find than the other three. Cost comparison. Sixenda is the most expensive. It can cost up to a few thousand dollars per month. Between Victoza, Ozempic, and Rebelsis, costs can vary, but I've seen well under a thousand dollars a month so they're still pretty expensive. Also, Victoza and Ozempic are often covered by insurance to help treat diabetics, while Sixenda, which is used to just treat obesity, is not covered as often. Which is more effective? They all work by suppressing your appetite and controlling insulin levels. However, studies seem to suggest that semaglutide may cause more people to lose weight than liraglutide. The total amount of weight loss appears to be similar just that more people are losing weight on semaglutide. This would suggest that Ozempic and Rebelsis probably works just as well, if not slightly better than Victoza and Sixenda in causing weight loss in patients. Between Victoza and Sixenda, the higher dose used in Sixenda makes it more effective for weight loss than Victoza. In practice, I haven't really noticed any significant difference between them all, and they can all be quite effective at helping patients lose weight when used with a proper weight loss protocol. I personally haven't had the chance to specifically see Rebelsis in action yet, so for that one, I'm just extrapolating from the available evidence. 
In addition to their similar effectiveness, I've also noticed their similar ineffectiveness. If one doesn't work for someone or stops working for them, switching to another rarely seems to work. For example, I've had patients put onto Ozempic and then experience no weight loss. They then switch to Sixenda and experience the same thing, nothing. I've also had many patients switch from Sixenda to Ozempic when Sixenda stopped working for them, and many of them had no additional weight loss effects. Summary. They all may be useful if you have a hard time with controlling hunger and tend to overeat and snack too often. At the moment, only Sixenda is approved for weight loss alone. So if you're not diabetic or have blood sugar issues, you're probably getting Sixenda. While I cannot officially condone off-label use, if you had the choice to try any one of them to help with weight loss, Ozempic may be easier in your wallet and might be easier to get yourself used to injecting your own medication since it's only done once per week. Rebelsus is a lot newer than the others and may be more difficult to get, but if you can get it, it may have the additional benefit of not having to inject yourself. However, if you've tried any one of them before and it hasn't affected your weight, switching to another will not likely have any effect on your weight either. Regardless, you'll need to check with your doctor to see if any of them are appropriate for you to use. And remember that the drug should never replace the implementation of good dietary and lifestyle habits for losing weight. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any experiences with these drugs, and if you found this video helpful, please leave me a like. As before, I'm Dr. Brian Young, bringing you weight loss info on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested in learning more, and share it with someone you know can use the help.